Hey everyone, this is the OK Fishman with another tutorial. We're going to be doing something a little bit different, more of a how-to on tying in foam cylinders. Super awesome for, you know, parachutes or emerger patterns. So we're going to be doing an emerger pattern today. And what we have is the foam cylinder coming out the top here. I have some soft hackle. This is Brahma Hen. And then a quill body with some dry fly dubbing right behind that. Pretty basic, but the advantage of having this foam cylinder is it floats a lot better. So you're not going to be putting much on as far as a oil or the dry fly powder, anything like that to keep it, you know, a little bit higher on the surface. So let's get into this. All right, we're going to be tying on a Hanick 300 on a size 16 here. And I got these Waspy foam cylinders. Uh, these ones are small. So, the idea of them. So, I'm going to cut this. This is the first cylinder, so I'm going to cut it in half. And then the next step is I'm going to cut this at an angle because that's what's going to lay right here. I'm going to cut a little bit sharper angle. You see how it's going to lay on there? All right, let's get our thread started. So you can use 8 aught or 12 aught thread, up to your personal preference. Get your thread started. Clip that tag end off and take the piece you prepped and lay it on there how you like it pinch it on and then do one two loose wraps pull up just to secure it you're not pulling super tight you're just getting it secure and then start going backwards and grabbing that taper part that we cut now we got it on there now we can secure it a little bit better some more thread wraps we're going to move it a little bit closer to the eye. So there we go. So I got this taper going on because when we're going to be wrapping the quill up the body, we don't want a hard transition. We want it to be nice and smooth and clean. So now we making the thread here. Move backwards. All right, now that we got the thread pretty much covering this foam material, now we're going to be going backwards and we're going to be using some hand strip quill by Polish Quill. Since this is a little bit larger fly, you're going to try and find the larger strand you have in here or piece of quill so you have enough to wrap forward so now that we got this in in place the foam cylinder you take your hook off and slightly rotate it forward just so you can get more of the bend because we're going to be bringing the quill about down to here so wrap down the body to about where you're going to tie in the quill And then grab your quill. Tie it in. All right, now we're going to try and get our thread flat for this next part because 
Now we're going to be working on this transition. So you can see there's a little bit of a hump here throughout. So we're just going to try and smooth that out so it looks clean. It's a little bit flat. I'll just taper it up. Looking pretty smooth. All right. And since I'm going to be wrapping this forward, I'm going to put it on my bobbin holder. So, quick little whip finish. So my thread will stay in place while it's on the bobbin holder. And a nice little save spot. Transition it over. Get it on your bobbin holder. All right, now our bobbin's on the bobbin holder. Now we're just going to wrap our quill forward. So I use this bead holder. I got it from Marshalls or Michaels, one of those arts and craft stores. I probably use this about as often as I use my whip finish tool, my scissors, my bobbin. I'm using this for about every pattern. So grab that, wrap it forward. I'm going to do touching wraps just because it looks better. I did not wet the quill, so it is probably a little bit brittle. So I just need to be gentle as I wrap it forward so it doesn't break on me. Just touching wraps up the body. So we get to the point where we are going to apply the dubbing. All right. That's on there. Take your bobbin wrist back. Take your thread up and a loose. Wrap two, three, and then secure. And trim your excess. Bring it a little bit forward. I'm gonna put some UV resin on that quill. Quill is relatively brittle, so it won't last on the stream. Really without UV resin. In my experience at least. Now the UV resin does add a little bit of weight so they, that's why these foam bodies are or the foam head is great to keep it above water or sub-submerged if you will. Dry that on your light. All right, we are almost there, guys. Now, time for some dry fly dubbing. This is the super fine dry fly dubbing. And olive for this, just because olive is by far my favorite dubbing color. Nice little over there. A little bit more. Alright, now we left room for our soft tackle. Now that we got room for our soft tackle, we're using some brown hen. And this stuff is my preferred material over partridge just because it's easier to use more size variation I find that partridge is normally longer than I would like for most patterns so you prep it you strip one side leave the other stroke the fibers back so you got this 
we'll set up here. One, two wraps in back, pull it back, two wraps in front, and trim this part. So on wrapping soft tackle, when you grab this, you're gonna wanna force it in the direction you want. So you twist it a little bit and then rotate. So if you don't, it will kind of take on its mind of its own and just go the opposite direction. So we'll just get one wrap to hold the stem in place. And then stroke your fibers back, then secure it. I probably did a little bit, one too many wraps on this. So I just gonna have some extra legs that we can pluck off later to get exactly how we want it. Nice and buggy looking. And just a little bit finish to secure it. You can, if you want, add some more dubbing. I don't think it's necessary. With that, it will be up to you when you tie it. So we got plenty of fibers. Yeah, I definitely did one too many wraps with this. But I probably still fish that. That's for sure. And then you can trim this to length. So I have it significantly longer just so it's easier to manipulate. I'm just going to trim it down. You will waste some materials, but easier to work with this way. So nice, simple emerger pattern. Thank you guys for joining me on this fly tying tutorial using foam cylinders. Please like and subscribe so you can get notifications on the next video.